Hello, this is Wonderio here, and I'm doing a filter tutorial in Victorian Kyoto. Now, the first thing that you need to do is make an object inside Victorian Kyoto using either the oval tool or the rectangle tool or any other tool, really. Make a shape. Let's make a square for now with the rectangle tool, which you press R to activate. Now, after doing that, you press the selection tool with, by pressing V. Select your object, and you right-click on it, and go to Convert Symbol. This is the only chant. This is the only way you can actually use the filter effects on and well something in your animation. So let's do this to symbol one. All right, you have your symbol now, but we don't see where the filters are, so we need to actually add that window in. By default, Victorian Gyoto does not have the filter window open, unfortunately. So we go up to Windows. We go down to Filters, right here. Click it, and it should appear right here. Now we got the filters up and running. We go and click on our object that we turned to a symbol. And then we can actually add a filter to it. So let's go here and add a drop shadow filter on it. Let's make the distance about maybe 100. Make it far away so you can notice it. All right, now there's a filter added, but you don't see no effect here, so obviously you must either A, export the Flash movie, the Swift, or B, preview it by pressing Control and Enter, which I will do right now. Now it should pop up in a few moments. Aha, and look, we have our shadow right there. Well, that is the end of the basic filter tutorial, but I shall make a more expanded version after this. And I hope to see you next time. I hope this was useful to you. See you later.